guys happy tuesday it's tuesday for me i kind of have been wanting to just film like a video about like music and what kind of music i'm like into like what genres and like who are my favorite artists lyrically and like even just all around and just like all that stuff So recently, I have been spending a lot of time um, on Pandora listening to music. I think just like after starting to write poetry again, I just kind of have established a newfound love for rap and hip hop music. So I've been listening to a lot of like rap and stuff kind of music. I feel like you can get to know a person a lot by like their music taste and stuff like that and I just think sometimes it's fun to know what kind of music like different people listen to because I don't know I think it's nice like to relate with people through music and everything like that and obviously I love all like of those really like classic old school artists. I just want to talk to you guys about some of my newly discovered like songs and stuff that I was listening to. So um, recently I just now listened to The Life of Pablo and I've also been really listening to Views by Drake. And also, and this is how I got to listening to all of this stuff because personally, I don't listen to albums. Like, I'm not really the type to go, oh, so-and-so's new album came out, let me go listen to it. Because personally, I'm just, I just get so picky with music where, I mean, sometimes I'll be in like a discovering mood where I'll be like, oh, let me try this out. Oh, here's a random song and stuff. But it's like I don't really go looking for it like that, you know what I mean? Like, which is also why I love Pandora, just because I it honestly sounds like this is so sponsored. Honestly, that's why I love Pandora, just because like it makes it easier for me to be able to discover like new songs, just because I feel like they get the radio stations right in terms of like. I don't know, somehow I end up liking a lot of like, that's how I discovered a lot, a lot of the indie music that I listen to is through Pandora just because of uh, them playing like, I don't know, the right song. I came to wanting to listen to some of the newer music that there is today. I sound so old. I was on YouTube, right? And there's this guy, hold on, let me, let me look up his, this guy named... Oh, I think I remember it. It's like Miami, Miami. I don't know how you pronounce that. Miami or Miami. I think it's Miami. I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's M-E-A-M-I. And he like makes kind of like videos where he reacts to like, or like he'll do like first impressions to hearing like certain music, like songs and stuff like that. And like, by the way, I like love his reactions are so funny. Like. Honestly, whenever I'm watching them, like when I was watching it, like I think it was last night, I was watching it and I was just like same, like the whole time, like his reactions are so hilarious. I don't know, they crack me up. He was um, reviewing Chance the Rapper's new album called Coloring Book. Okay, that's what it's called. It's called Coloring Book. And I, for some reason, I don't know why, I don't know if it was just because in my brain, like subconsciously I was like, let me look at this guy's video because I know I like his reactions or something like that. But And also I like Chance the Rapper so I was like, okay, let me try it out. So I click on his video and like he's like, I like watched the whole entire thing because in the beginning he, he kind of sold me with it was as good as acid rap. I was like, I go somewhere like on Spotify and listen to it there when I can watch his funny reactions and listen to it like with this guy he's like listening to the album and i was like oh like i kind of enjoyed it and i just i don't know i've just lately been really enjoying like wow i sounded so weird i have just been really enjoying lately like lyricism like oh my gosh and like art and the actual music and i feel like so many artists today are really getting back into the art like for a while, it was kind of just like, ooh, let's do some commercial type of music, I feel like. And 
now I feel like artists are like, let's put, you know, it's still a little bit commercial, but like, I think that's fine. Like, I don't think it needs to be like super, like underground rustic. It's more like about their soul. And that's what I like in music. You know what I mean? It's like, a, it connects with your soul for a reason because it's the other person pouring out their soul. Like that's what people do when they, when they make music. That's what they're, I think supposed to do or something. So I just have been really loving that. Like, I guess really ever since I kind of discovered Odd Future, it's so lame that I just kind of found Odd Future, but like, I'm just being honest. I like just now have gotten around to listening to it. Like, Earl Sweatshirt, his, <coughs> his lyrics are so amazing. Like, honestly, and Tyler, the creator, like all of them, like, like the pros man you know what i mean the pros i haven't i hadn't before heard music like that great since i first heard acid rap which by the way was also really late I, anyway i hadn't heard lyrics that great since then and then like hearing tyler the creator and like earl sweatshirt and like hearing all of those artists again that have such great lyricism it's like amazing it's refreshing and it, it inspires me like honestly it's like Edgar Allan Poe when I write poetry I think of Edgar Allan Poe I love like the way that he writes his poetry and everything anyway this video didn't really have a point um, it took me 37 minutes to film this that's what it says on my camera and the battery is about to die so I'm wrapping this up real quick thank you guys so much for watching I'm hoping that my next video will make more sense but my brain's a little fuzzy today um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys.